All right, so today I'm gonna be talking and showing you just exactly how obsessed I am with beetles. Um, I've probably painted about 20 beetles in my life within the, like the past five years. Um, for the occasion, I am wearing my beetle necklace. I am wearing my jean jacket that I have mutilated a Journey t-shirt for. And I also have a tattoo from last year uh, that I got in commemoration for how obsessed I am. So um, to start us off with some random facts, beetles make up one fourth of the population on earth. Um, this is above all animals for sure, but I've heard the fact that ants apparently uh, trump the population of humans, so beetles could possibly be, um, you know, one fourth of the entire world population, which is insane. They also have uh, the most variety within their species. They're finding hundreds uh, every year throughout the Amazon. They live mainly throughout the dirt and they live all over the world except for polar regions. And also apparently they have some type of levitation property within their exoskeletons um, or maybe some type of magnetic um, quality to them. If you type in beetle levitation within YouTube or Google, um, it should, uh, quite a few videos should come up. And I have one more piece of information that is, uh, quite revealing. Um, but yeah, I put that halfway through the video. So, uh, yeah, stick around and find out what it is. So here is my Pinterest page of beetles that I have singly selected for inspiration and you can see just how beautiful and jewel-like they are but uh yeah let's get into some drawings and paintings so here's a more recent uh, miniature piece of a beetle that i did that has gold foil behind it i'm going to show you some examples of other drawings and paintings i did so this was for inktober um, and I used a uh, holographic nail polish to get the effect of the, you know, their qualities of duochrome and yeah, I'm hoping to do a larger version of this with more realistic skin tones. This was um, some older projects that I'm going to look more into for you. Where are they? Uh, there we go. So this is about one by four feet tall. Um, it's the relationship between the skeleton, um, mainly the top of the head, and how the skull forms. And you'll see that the flower of life is in here with it and it matches up perfectly um, with that little section in the back, matches up perfectly with where the skull molds to itself. Um, what's another example? Um, there's, uh, my tattoo with the tarantula on it. Um, here is better detail of these two little ones. Again, I used a nail polish for the duochrome, so as you walk by it, the color changes from pink to green. And here is a time lapse of my tattoo that I got just probably last year. Um mainly because um, th how the head forms at the top just blew my mind. So at that moment, I knew I had to get it just as a conversation starter. And I feel like I have another example of a beetle here, right there. Okay. Um, so I painted this for Art Battle, and it actually sold for $70 on auction. And here are some other small studies of beetles that I did. I actually found this guy on a bus one day and I sat right next to him and it blew my mind and I thought about keeping him but yeah. All right and that is it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the journey and the information. Um, if you guys have a favorite piece uh, let me know. I'd love to hear what it is. If you have any information that I might have missed I would also love to hear that. Um, 
and you know give it a like if you liked it if you learned something you know subscribe do whatever you want to do um, it's all very much appreciated but uh, I will be back again with a, a dream talk so if you're interested in that as well then um, stay in tune see you later